Kain po tayo. I have here um, tomato with egg. Kinamatisang itlog. At meron kong lobster. Lobster. And meron akong salmon fish. Woohoo! Salmon fish. And meron akong um, shrimp, garlic butter shrimp. At ang dessert ko ay apricot and orange. So, kain tayo guys! Meron na pala akong cauliflower. Oh, the TV. What's that? Take this one, though. Mm. Yum. Heating up. Mm. This is my favorite part, the belly. Mm. Yummy. Five minutes, yummy. Beautiful. Sacked, crippling local economies and social activities. 
if you compare the amount they spend on over six years in terms of trying to control this, the loss of one hour by time and time to not accept their phone, the loss of white food, the loss of cattle, the loss of means of livelihood, people who cannot accept their phone. The content is generally uh -huh. it has negatively Look at the in fact impacted mm -hmm. on the lives of the people. Yeah, I mean. The violence began as a localized conflict between farmers and cattle farmers in just one area has now escalated to a full blown crisis affecting the whole region and beyond. The recent abduction of hundreds of school children by those the government describes as bandits underlines the worsening security situation in northwest Nigeria. Many farmers here have been forced to leave their land after being unable to pay off their outcrops. We'll find a farmer who can farm about 10 mm -hmm. to 20 hectares. But this distance you think they cannot be able to farm their, their farm. And even the small farmers who were able to cultivate, let's say, two, three, up to five hectares, they were also being forced to abandon their land and be inside the towns just to take the food against the security. The Cattle Herders Association says nearly every member has had some animals stolen. Here at the cattle market, there are only a few animals on display, raised by arms bandits of potential stocks, and potential buyers are staying away. And in the grain section of the market, it's a similar picture. The Northwest is Nigeria's main grain and cereal producing region. The fighting here has passed fears of food shortages in the month ahead. With attacks now growing in number and sophistication, reassuring words of the central government of Bandit will come home, with those facing such violence and the misery things. Ahmed Ibris, Al Jazeera, Northwest Nigeria. U.S. Republican Senator Mitch Romney has called a recent hacking campaign against the U.S. extraordinarily damaging and is demanding a response. Some security experts say more than 40 organizations are targeted, including several government agencies. The executive wants to unravel. Let's have a good day. Wow, you're my nation. Well, how does it make? Trump tweeted at China. No, not from this one. They apparently didn't think that we would respond in a very aggressive way. And I think all those things have to be addressed. I think we have to be much more serious about our cyber capabilities, offensive and defensive. I think we have to rethink about that as a department of defense, as well as our other agencies. And I think we have to have a very clear eyed approach to how we deal with rushing white forwards. This demands a response. And the response you'd expect to occur would be a cyber response. Uh, I don't know if we have the capacity to do that in a way that would be uh, uh, of the same scale or even greater scale than what Russia has applied to us. But this is something we have to address as soon as possible. Russian President Vladimir Putin has praised the country's foreign intelligence service on its 100th birthday despite the claims that the agency has several global hackers. Putin says the agency is crucial for Moscow's sovereign and independent development. The no President's election advisory team is considering punishing Russia a suspected role in the hacking of U.S. government agencies. I wish success to everyone who defends Russia, empower people from external and internal threats, who defends sovereignty and national interest, and from whom the security and well-being of the motherland was, is, and will be the main business of their entire life. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa is being urged to intervene in a violent campaign targeting foreign truck truck drivers. At least two people have died. Mm -hmm. And that's important to Johannesburg in a warning that this report does contain images of burn victims that some viewers might find disturbing. Collins Masikumi was on a routine delivery when a car with three men inside blocked the road and forced him out of his truck. He says he's lucky to be alive. Yeah, come out three guys, come out. Another one he was holding a gun, another one he was holding a gun. He said, I don't know. He said, there is a man, yes, come down. So the time I opened my door, when I, I put my leg down, I just come out, he just hit me with a gun. Oh, Hmm? Unions representing foreigners working in South Africa hmm? say gasoline bombs have been thrown at trucks driven by non-South Africans, and dozens of drivers have been shot at, stoned, hmm? and even killed. Yeah. South African union leaders who have condemned the violence insist it is not xenophobia, but they say they do want jobs to go to South Africans first. Zimbabwe has been vocal, Uganda has been vocal, uh, Namibia has been vocal about the employment of their own citizens. In fact, each and every uh, job opportunity that has been created in a particular country by a country should actually uh, be given to the, uh, the citizens of that particular country. Over the years, competition for scarce jobs in South Africa has caused tensions between local mm. and those from other parts of the continent. South Africa is defining what's happening even before the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. The unemployment rate is now more than 30%. Mm. Every year, other African countries have been in conflict coming here, looking for work, and they've been allowed. The economy says instability in the transport sector doesn't help matters. Mm. 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 The country itself was then with the key not interested. It's not like we're the only people purchasing anything. You know, uh, people are buyers all over the world that have options they can go to other countries as well. President Silver, of course, has been asked by unions and business leaders to intervene in what is seen as a growing crisis in the Africa's trucking industry. The foreign drivers say they have no choice but to carry on working. Violence or no violence, they have families to feed. Writing that those votes taken that is expected to happen. Uh, the second guy. And what does this deal include? Well, six hundred dollar checks to yeah. most Americans, as well as extended unemployment benefits, into rental assistance, food assistance, Africa. and help small businesses that have had to struggle and be shuttered due to COVID. Spy West or Vines Radio intelligence firm is being used to hack the phones of dozens of Alzheimer's journalists. Researchers assist in that and percent of cyber attacks by the Orange Street Arabia, United Arab The Orange Street. Mm. British and European Union negotiators are to continue trade talks in Belgium capital Brussels on Monday past the latest deadline. They still have to sort out two issues that blocks fishing rights in British waters and fair competition rules for businesses. At least 100 people have been detained in the capital of Belarus during anti government protests. Mass demonstrations began four months ago at the election of long time President Alexander Lukashenka. His opponent said the vote was fraudulent. So, guys, we should not fall. We should not fall. Thank you for watching, guys. Keep safe, everyone. Bye. See you on my next class. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye. Those are headlines.